What is up guys? I am John and you are watching Johnny Fabs and I am working on my Datsun 280ZX with an LS swap and this is a 5.3 LH6 motor and that's what we're going to be working on in today's video. I'm uh, pretty excited. We got some new parts in for this motor. Um, a camshaft, lifters, head gaskets, uh, head studs. So we're going to be putting all that in there and then going through each step. Um, so this is a 5.3 LH6 we got off Facebook Marketplace. Um, so the guy said that it might have had a lifter tick. It said some kind of tick, so we're going to investigate that. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the this motor is a DOD motor, or AFM, which is a displacement on demand, which it shuts four of the cylinders off uh, by shutting the lifters off and it just runs on uh, four cylinders so we're going to dig into that today and we're going to be deleting that with our cam and new lifters so we're going to get into it right now so first thing i'm probably going to pull the water pump off which is all of these 10 mil bolts pull that off and then our power steering pump off and once we get that off we'll work uh, more probably taking the heads off All right guys, so we got the main caps all torqued down. Um, they're all torqued to 15 foot-pounds. And then the middle ones, you do uh, 81 degrees. And then the outer ones, you do 51. And then the outside is, uh, we did it at 20 foot-pounds. I think it's OEM's 18. But the uh, crank spins really nice, so we should be good on that. We did plastic gauge it and all the clearances check good. So now we're going to put the rear uh, cover on with the rear main seal. This is a new cover. Uh, we might as well change this out since we got the motor out. And then we had to take it off to install this billet dumbbell um, shaped thing for the oil. So we're gonna put this on. Uh, we put a little bit of RTV right where the oil, uh, oil pan meets and then we're going to put this on comes with three fitted gaskets huh yeah new gaskets new seal and then it comes with all the bolts too We are back today uh, is the next day. I went ahead and put the short block together last night. So I just ended up putting the pistons in, got those torqued down. Um, so now I'm getting ready to put the cam in, uh, cam and lifters. So for a cam, we have a BTR Little John Motorsports turbo cam. Um, so we're going to be putting that in and then the lifters. So we're going to jump into it. All right, you guys, so I just got the cam in, cam retainer plate on, and then uh, I put a new bottom uh, gear on 
right there and then new tensioner guide and then new chain um, I ordered a new cam uh, cam gear but it ended up uh, I ordered the one for the 58 tooth in, and then it has four cutouts instead of the 24 tooth reluctor wheel and then the cam only has one so I just put that one on it should be fine and then torqued everything down torque these down so this should be good to go so next I'm probably going to since this was a DOD motor I'm going to be putting plugs in these uh, bosses right here and um, that's gonna block the oil um, I'm going to be running one of the uh, DOD covers but I want to just make sure there's no internal oil leaks uh, because all that seals these off is an o-ring on the cover plate so we're gonna do that next Um, now I'm going to put the lifters in the valley so I have them soaking in oil um, and then I have new lifter trays um, so all that will be uh, good these are LS7 uh, lifters so those are the updated style um, so we're going to put those in and tighten down the uh, lifter trays All right guys, so I just got the lifters in uh, and the trays bolted down. Now I'm going to put the head studs in. These are ARP head studs um, for the 04 and newer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in, clean up the surface, and then we're gonna put the head gaskets on. All right, you guys, so I got the ARP head studs in. Um, I had to run them in, take them out, blow out all the stuff from the stock bolts. Um, and then they all went in fine. Uh, so I got all those in, and now I'm going to be installing these head gaskets. These are BTR multi-layer head gaskets. So we're going to put these on and then uh, put the heads on. So I have the new BTR gaskets on there, the multi-layer, and I put the heads on. These heads have stock valves, but they have the BTR spring upgrade with the titanium retainers. And then uh, we have the Pro Series head studs. Um, so right now I'm just following this sheet, which calls out for uh, 30 foot-pounds, 60, then 90, and then the top small 10 mils. So I'm doing that right now, just did the 30 uh, pass, now I'm going to do the 60 pass. Alright guys, so fast forward ahead, uh, I went ahead and put the fr whole front accessory uh, drives on, minus the belt, and then I went ahead and put the new Holly uh, oil pan, it's actually a 302-3, and then we put a baffle in the inside, so this pan has 
uh, drain ports for the turbo and uh, it's really low profile so it should work in there and then I put this little ICT uh, oil pressure sensor and then I'm gonna run the turbo feed line off of that so that's pretty much it for building up this 5.3 uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys are skipping to the end uh, all we did was put fresh bearings in it uh, and then we put uh, ARP Pro head studs with um, new BTR head gaskets. It's got the trunnion upgrade on the rocker arms and then uh, Chrome Molly push rods with the BTR 660 valve springs and then the BTR Lil John Motorsports uh, Stage 2 turbo cam. So it should be pretty uh, healthy build and then we're going to be putting the custom made turbo kit with the S475 uh, Borg Warner turbo. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to be swapping it into our Datsun 280ZX. So stay tuned for videos on that. But I think that's going to be it for building this 5.3. So like, comment, subscribe, and peace.